the matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight, he stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 177 pounds. Fighting out of Beijing, China, introducing the challenger, Merciless. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Doho Choi. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch gloves and we are underway. advantage but we know what a high level striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the UFC and he landed the right hand there oh nice connection by him there with the right hand the right hand is the dominant hand and you can see how well he throws it single collar tie now right hand punch the clinch
flips that left hand. Big punch lands through the middle. All right, he engages in the single collar side. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the defender. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows up to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Just misses with that one. Oh, nice. Nice. Straight punch. Under three minutes to go in round one. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Here's the kick blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down from the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Another big shot to the head. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Great punch. Another shot lands upstairs. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And there comes the separation now. Ooh! All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Slips to avoid that left. All right, single collar tie now. Well, not much set up behind it, the right hook misses. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Real sneak. Straight punch lands. Relax. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Over and over. You come up, you go down. Another takedown land. Right punches there. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Back to the feet now. Outstanding kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Tags him with the left. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, DC, second round is getting <laughs> underway. <laughs> round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Big punch lands over the top. 
How's he gonna follow this one up? Ooh, blocks the shot. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. And they separate. Nice head kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice leg kick land. Straight right, he misses. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Beautiful strike. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Choi gets hit with a kick. Punch no good. Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Just out of range with that left hook. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. That was a thudding leg kick. Back and forth we go. Head movement to slip the left hand. Continues to mix it up over the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, tags him with the jab on the counter. He blocks the punch. What a punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Connects now with the one-two. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Now connects with the right. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Nice. just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Round three next. Good job, guys. 
All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you've got to really switch it up. With Corner is able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing was this sharp. He's never looked this good. Checks that leg kick. Can't take many of those, you better check. Ooh. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, collar tie. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, how about the head movement? Slips his head up. Whoa! What a fantastic to go at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Oh, that's a good right hand. Punch landed with so much power. What a body kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Straight right hand now just misses. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong today. And that has caused frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Head kick. Nice strike. A oh, little single collar tie there. Beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Look at how he turns his hips. Oh, that's a huge shot. Yeah. 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 No, and he needs to start looking for finish now because he's got his performance very bad. Oh, got him. He got the him. The Korean Superboy getting absolutely worked here from the top. Let's see if there's an uptick in his urgency here as he tries to get back up. Pretty significant welt to the left side. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Nice hammer fist. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. He did a 
did a great job securing that ankle pick, but he did not react fast enough to secure the top position. And just like that, back to the huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up with him. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. He just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. So a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, deep leaning on the heart, we'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the upper. Blocks the strike. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, nice. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Choi. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. This is a collar tie. Just out of range with that right hand. Good punch, Lance. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. All right, Lance, a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. Just over three minutes to go now. Let it go now. He goes to the body there. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is the technique you use to really slow down your opponent. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. And just misses with that big right hand. A nice loop and punch. Just misses with the straight right. Head kick lands. Nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it that with the right time. Oh, beautiful. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Beautiful kick. And they separate. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. That was a beautiful hook. It landed 
perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. Into the final minute of this championship fight. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Punch over the top. Leg kick checked by Shore. Single collar tie now. Just misses there with the left. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man. Beautiful body kick. Good a counter striker as there is in the game. Straight right is good. Ten seconds remaining in round four. Right two. Oh, right under the elbow, right under the elbow. It was a perfectly placed shot. You can see the corner reacting violently from that point. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout. But you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Inside the octagon for the official decision, it resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 32 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still.
right, so heavyweight title retained as the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proven he's the elite among the elite of heavyweight. In a division where everything can change in a second, this guy has brought consistency to something that is so 